Hello and welcome back once again to The Outdoors Station. In this show we're looking at protecting one of our most favourite assets. Something we need to look after. After all, if you can't get comfortable, you can't enjoy the view. Of course, I'm talking about our bum, our derriere, our posterior, our backside. Call it what you will, but if we're not sitting comfortably, then how can we possibly begin? There's a new generation of light and compact and well-engineered camping chairs currently on the market and I thought I'd give a look at three of these to give you an idea of what each offers in this video. We have the Helinox Chair 1, the A-Lite Mayfly and the A-Lite Monarch. So once again I wandered up onto the Malvern Hills to try and make this a little bit more entertaining to see how easy they were to put together and use on a nice warm summer's day. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful day. The sun is shining. There's a slight breeze to the air, slight chill. It's getting towards the end of summer. This could be the last fine day of the year, but it's a day that you'd want to come out onto the hills and sit down and obviously enjoy the view. However, not all days are like this. Some days it's a little bit wet on the old backside and you need a little bit of comfort, a little bit of comfort for your bum um, to enjoy such things as the view from the hills or stars at night or fireworks spectacular. So I thought what we'd do today is have a look at a handful of new lightweight compact camping chairs which have been released onto the market aimed specifically at the, uh, the, the hiker, the camper, the cycle tourist, the bushcrafter, basically anybody that wants to sit down in a little bit of comfort and keep their bum dry. So let us start off with the Helinox Chair 1. Now the Helinox Chair 1 weighs in at uh, 850 grams and the pack size is 35 by 10 by 12 centimetres. So small enough to drop into the old pannier, certainly small enough to drop into a day sack. The second one is one by A-Lite, which is the A-Lite Mayfly Chair. Now this is quite a nifty design, coming in slightly lighter than the Chair 1 at 720 grams but also it converts and you can sacrifice a small piece of it and reduce it to 520 grams and obviously the packing as well. But in its full state, the packing is 30 by 10 by 10. And finally, we have the Monarch chair. Certainly, as you can see straight away, they're slightly smaller and more compact. And this weighs in at 590 grams. A lovely little design, all the other fantastic designs, all three chairs, lovely design, uh, pack size 30 by 11 by 11. So what we're looking for now is a volunteer on this lovely day that might be able to tackle these chairs for the first time and see how they get on. So really just looking for, oh, a volunteer. Hello, are you doing anyth anything for the next 10 minutes? Not particularly. Would you like to put some chairs up for me? Yeah, why not? So we have a volunteer. Let's see how we get on.
Well, Katie's been a great volunteer today. She's had good fun putting these up and trying them out. And we're just going to have a quick uh, chat about some of the features of the, of the three chairs here. And they are subtly different, uh, and you might uh, you might want to use them in different ways. You obviously we've got the Helinox chair one, the A Light uh, Mayfly, and the A Light Monarch. Now you put them all up and you sat in them. From your perspective, what do you think? Oh well, they're all very comfortable to start with. Okay, that's They've good. They've all got quite a lot of room. I think this one has definitely got the most room in terms of my wide hips. This one, I found that's the most comfortable. Although, for a rocking one, this one is slightly, slightly higher. Okay, well looking at the two A-lights then, because they're both, well they're both rockers, that, that's the only one that will convert between being a normal chair as you see it now, and you take the two front rods off there, or the front rod off that uh, we showed in earlier on, and you actually sit back and rock on it. And you can, this is purely a rocker. But if you look at them both side by side from that point of view, you can see that the, the Monarch is much higher uh, as a rocker than this one. So uh, in long wet grass then that would be uh, that would be probably preferable. Uh, but then this one, uh, this one obviously gives you the opportunity of it being a normal chair as well should you want to do that. Mm -hmm. I think if I was on a campsite and sort of doing sitting around socializing on a campsite then I'd be that one is is more applicable. Yeah nice and upright. Yeah 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 you sort of sit at the table. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> Whereas these are just funky. I just I like these these are sort of good fun but yeah. I mean um, each one to each one to their own. Um, that's the lightest one of the three okay. when the front section is removed, followed by that one, and that one's the, the obviously the heaviest of them all. Mm. But they're all roughly the same size when they're packed down. Um, but um, final preference, yours? Definitely the Mayfly. Yeah, Mayfly. Well, there you have it. We all got different views on what we take and why. So I hope that's been of some use to you. And whatever you do, sit back, chill, look at the view, and have a glass of wine. Uh, so for those of you that uh, missed the weight, uh, you have the chair one at uh, 850 grams, the Mayfly at 720 grams, uh, and also uh, obviously that reduces down to 520, and then we have the Monarch at 590. Now, uh, of course, like all things outdoors, you do need to uh, use a modicum of common sense when putting these things together so that accidents don't happen. For example, you've got to make sure in which direction you're facing when you're using a chair like this on a slope. Well, that's it from me. Please come and join us and subscribe in any one of the many ways on to almost 400 audio and video shows already, already produced that are live and free on our various feeds. And here's that very long list of feeds now. Well, thanks very much for uh, for joining us. More videos coming very soon. And, uh, well, that's about it. Hope you've enjoyed that, and uh, see you next time. Bye for now. This machine will have eyes, ears, and a voice.